Oh wow, they're coming for me. Hello. Oh. Good boy. It's come to say hi to me. <laughs> Good day, Shellen speaking. I'm at Simpio Wildlife Park, which is in Helensburg, New South Wales. And I've come over here today to have a look at the wildlife that's out here in this park. I've never seen kangaroos before, though I've lived in Australia for three years now. So I'm quite excited, I'm psyched. This is the wildlife park map. And let's have a look what's over here. So it says there are farm animals, eagles, Kangaroo rest area, kangaroo walkthrough, undercover picnic area. I guess I'm at one of these. Reptile house, marmoset and cotton top monkeys, bird aviaries, reptiles, crocodiles, red pandas, monkeys, emus, wildlife saver, amphitheater. There's also a gift shop. Let's see how it is. I'm glad it's a sunny day today. Hopefully it doesn't rain, but it's freezing. It's quite cold. Let me show you this. While booking my tickets online, I also ordered some feed. And this is how it looks. I guess this is for the kangaroos and other animals. I'm not sure. Let's have a look at the birds. Right here at my table, it's come to visit me. Uh -huh. All right, let's go. Authorized personnel only. That's not for me. That's for some construction that's going on on that side. But then let's not waste any time. And let's go have a look. All right. Let's see what we've got here. Tony Frogmark. I can't see any of the frogs though. There's a school picnic and a lot of kids over here. Let's go to see what's here. Freshwater crocodile. The freshwater crocodile. You can pause the video if you want to read any of the information over here. Let's see, where's the crocodile? I can see the crocodile. Crocodile, maybe it's a very, very exciting. We got the privilege of keeping our males. So, meerkats are generally found over in the Kalahari Desert in Botswana. So, you can kind of imagine the kind of you can kind of imagine the types of what are you doing? Um, the types of conditions that they would be under. Um, so, very hot and very harsh as well. So, here we try and mimic them their natural habitat that they would live in. So we have that substrate 
um, of that dirt and that sand just along. They haven't really made too much of a mess this morning. Um, but yeah, so they usually have these kind of substrates over just where um, along in their habitat. So meerkats generally live for around about in captivity, they live for around about 15, 16 years. However, they are they are highly predated on out in the wild. So sometimes our young meerkats don't even reach above the age of four years old. So it's very, very unfortunate, but they do have those predators. If you guys have any questions regarding meerkats at all, if oh. not, then that Now we're going to have a look at the reptiles. I tried spotting the python, can't see it. Central method tracking. Dragon seems to be resting. Let's move on to the next one. So it's a brown tree snake. Let's search for the snake. Where is it? Sorry? 
Let's see what's here. The American alligator. couple of reptiles there were a few who were hiding I don't even know where to spot them we said quite some time look at these birds the birds are having a nice time let's go and spot other wildlife there's a lot of seating area Whoa, let's go to have a look at koalas. There you go. So nice to see them from so close. Are the koalas here? Oh yes, there you see that. I'm sure that's a eucalyptus tree. Not because I know it, it's just because I know that koalas love eucalyptus. There is a koala having its food. There's a kids play park as well which is called the Splash Park. But I'm not a kid and neither do I want to splash right now. It's almost spring but the water would be freezing cold and I might just get frozen and turn into a human ice cube. And I don't want to turn into a human ice cube now. Let's go have a look at the red panda. Hmm, doesn't look like I can see it. Wow, I've spotted it. I'm so lucky. There you go. Not sure whether you can see it, but I, I'm guessing you can because I can see it on my camera screen. Let's see if you can spot the golden lion tamarind.
Hmm, doesn't look like maybe hiding in the bushes. Let's see what else is there. Pigmy mamuse or pigmy mamuse. I don't know how you pronounce that. Oh, here you go. So that's the pigmy mamuse. Let's go spot some more wild animals. It's a Nemo. Hello. I was happy to spot the emu. Let's go, yo. Tasmanian devil. Yay, I've spotted the Tasmanian devil. It's trying to sleep over there in the sun. Let me see if I can get to the other side before it moves. That's the closest I can get because on the other side it's fenced and there's no way I can go through that. Let's try spotting some other animals. grazing in their natural habitat. Nice to see them doing that. The main reason for me to come to Symbio Wildlife Park is to spot kangaroos. I haven't yet spotted them. I'm not sure how large this is, this park. But this park is quite close to Sydney. It took me around 45 minutes to drive and I'm guessing it takes you maybe around an hour's time if you drive from the Sydney CBD. So it's not too far. Great for a weekend trip and I do know that it gets quite crowded on a weekend. Today is Wednesday so it's it's so much better for me if you want to have a nice day out with your family you can get your food come over here sit at one of these tables like just i am and you can enjoy your food there's a lot of play area for kids out there there's a splash park i showed you earlier and it should it should be a good day out it's not too far from the city and that is what matters so just a day trip and it works out well have a look at this table. Nice hole. That's my camera. Alright, done with a bit of rest. Let's go again and try spotting some more animals. Wow. I'm guessing this is a cheetah.
Yes, it does. Happy to have spotted the cheetah. Looks like a couple of birds. Emerald ground dog, yellow tailed, black cockatoo, wonga pigeon, tony frogmouth, bush thick knee, and laughing kookaburra. This is in no way a laughing kookaburra because it doesn't even smell. Maybe something else. This is the Wildlife Saver Amphitheater and there's no one around because there is no show at the moment. They do have shows at scheduled times during the day. But it's not right now. Let's go have a look at the other birds and other wildlife as well. Okay, it looks like there are a few birds out here as well. And that would be the yellow-tailed black cockatoo, Gang Gang Cockatoo. Nice name. Sulfur crested cockatoo, bush stone call you. I can see one bird up there. There you go. I don't know which is which though. Here it says Australian bush birds. Okay, so I'm guessing these are the Australian bush birds. That's the diamond fire tail finch, regent honey eater, inland dotterel, banded lapwing, and double barred finch. Can I spot any of them? I can see a nice and small, cute bird on the stone over there. A couple of others as well. There are two birds seated over there. I think they're feeling too cold, maybe. Oh, there are even much more birds. Eastern whip bird, brush bronze wing pigeon, plum headed finch, white brown wood swallow, and dusky wood swallow. Where are the kangaroos? I've come here for the kangaroos. There's some construction work going on outside the park, and that's the noise. Um, so, here, yeah. is this a hen? Looks like. Somewhat like a camel, but not a camel. Maybe a penny camel. Oh, look cute. There's a lighter one, and then there's a darker shade, and then there's an even darker shade. I love this.
Dingo. Where is the Dingo? What the noise you hear is from kids over there. There's a school picnic and they're quite excited, just like I am. But I can't see any dingo whatsoever. Let me see what else can I spot. If I'm able to spot a kangaroo, I will consider my trip to the wildlife park as a success because I have come here only for the kangaroos. Wow. This is a scarecrow. Reminds me of the old men that we used to make on the 31st of December in India and then burn it up at midnight, New Year midnight. Says a farmyard. So this is the farmyard. A very nice setup. Not sure what these animals are, but they look nice. Oh wow, they're coming for me. Hello. Hi. Good boy. It's come to say hi to me. <laughs> So it's drinking some water from there. There's another one here, the black one. So nice. Oh, there you see the guinea pig. There are three of them. Oh, four of them. Very nice. Looks like there's five of them, there's another one hiding below those logs of wood. Silky chicken. I know where they get their name from and why they get their name. Wow, this land stands. I've never seen this in Australia before. I would love to have one of these. This is so nice. I don't know which animal that is. Looks like a rabbit. Everything looks like a rabbit to me.
the farmyard. The farmyard was fun. Had some nice exciting animals. Let's go and see what else is there to spot. Sunny, I'll wear my glasses. There's a nice view, there's a road going up. Not sure where that leads to. So it doesn't look like we are getting anywhere, it's just going all around. So I need to go to the other side to spot the kangaroos. And that's the alpaca that I had shown you earlier. They seem to be quite happy in the sun. It looks like I've spotted kangaroos or wallabies. But whatever they are, I can now consider myself having a successful trip at the wildlife park. There you go, there they are. Two of them. Can you see that one? There's a joey in the pouch. So happy. I'm so excited and I'm so happy. Yay! I see a huge bird there, but I don't know which bird that is. Each tree in this park is numbered with a metal plate. Nice to see that. I'm not sure why they have done that. Probably it's to count the number of trees or maybe keep deforestation in check. There has to be some reasoning behind it and whatever the reason, I'm sure it's for a good cause. Electric Barrett. There you see the parrot. Yes, there should be a couple of other parrots as well, but I can see just one right now. This is the splash park. No one's there here right now. Just because it's quite cold. Today is a Wednesday, but then there are already so many cars over here. It's a very popular wildlife park. Usually on the weekends, all of the places are full and used up. I'm ready to drive home. That's about it from Symbio Wildlife Park. If you like this video, you know what to do. Give it a thumbs up. If you haven't done so already, subscribe to my channel. Also share it with your mates. And yes, plan to visit this wildlife park someday it's going to be a good one i've done a visit to this wildlife park in a hurry but i'm sure you can spend the whole day and going about doing a lot of other things take care of yourselves and stay safe see you